Hey Steve here and in this video I'm showing you an easy way to cut out trees in Photoshop so that you can adjust them separately from their background. Now this is really useful when you want to change the sky behind a tree or add contrast or color to a tree without touching the sky and vice versa. So if you like this video hit the thumbs up button to let me know so I can keep making more just like it. And remember to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell notification icon so that YouTube notifies you each time I publish a new video. So this image that we're working on today is quite a tricky image to uh, to kind of separate this tree out from the background because there's so many details in the tree and the leaves and the branches and then the sky has got those detailed clouds right behind. So this is a really tricky, um, a really tricky image to kind of separate. Now this technique I'm about to show you works well for some images. Um, it won't necessarily work for all images, but it's definitely worth a try. So the type of image that it's good for is an image like this where the color in the foreground and in the tree is a lot different to the color in the sky. So for example, a kind of browny reddy tree with green leaves against a blue sky with white clouds. That's gonna allow us to get the isolation that we want. So the first step of this process is to use the color range filter, which is found under the select menu. And when this color range box opens up, what we are going to do is basically click into the image. So let me just run this through this. Uh, so if I click on a blue part of the image, then those blues are going to be selected. And you know, in the little preview over here, the darkest parts of what are selected or the darkest parts of the preview are what are selected. And so we can move this around you know, if I want to sample the, uh, the blue from the top corner there or if I want to sample the reds of the foreground, then you'll see that changing the preview depending on where I click. So the first thing that I want to do once I've sampled my first color, so I'm going to do this by sampling the sky. And yeah, so the first thing I'm going to want to do then is switch to this eyedropper tool with the plus icon on it. And so what that's going to do is next time I click in the image, it's going to actually add that color to the selection rather than change the selection to only that color. So now I'm just going to go around the image and I'm going to select all the clouds in the sky and just keep adding to my selection until we get a really nice um, isolation between the sky and the foreground. Now the tree here has just started to be selected um, as well so I'm just going to switch to the minus eyedropper and click in there so okay, we have some, some tricky colors, but let's just keep doing this process until we get a decent isolation. Now, that probably looks okay, it's not perfect, but I'll show you what we can do to make it a lot, lot better in just a moment. So let's click okay. And we've got our selection. And so let's say we would just wanna use a simple curves adjustment for this. Let's add that curves adjustment with the selection active. And then that selection gets loaded into our curves adjustment uh, layer mask. So let's have a look at that now. What's going to happen if I move the uh, curve up? It's going to brighten the tree. If I move it down, it's going to darken the tree. And if I wanted to do the inverse of that, I can just invert the layer mask. So click on the layer mask, Command or Control I to invert it. And now the sky is being affected by this adjustment and the tree is not. So let me just show you the layer mask now. Alt or Option and click on the layer mask. Now, as we can see, the tree is not a perfect black, or it's actually not even anywhere near black. Um, and the sky is a good white. Um, but the fact that the tree isn't perfect black against that perfect white sky, that means that this isn't 100% um, isolating the tree. So as I darken the sky, the tree is getting a little bit darker as well. So to fix that, what we can do, if I option or alt click on the layer mask again, then I can use the dodge and burn tools to, uh, where is it? So burn in this case, to make those darker parts, so those grays, I can make those grays uh, closer to black. And if I just, run this dodge or this burn tool over the branches and over the tree with the shadows selected in the settings up here of the burn tool. 
then because the sky behind is perfect white then that's not going to be affected by this dodge and burn I keep saying dodge and burn <laughs> by this um, by this burn tool and it's going to allow me to just go around and darken down those branches in the layer mask without affecting the background so now that's a lot closer to black all around the tree we have got some other bits there that we could brush in manually if we wanted to but I'll make this video quick um, you know you could go and do that if you had the time to uh, just get a little bit fiddly and and do that through those uh, branches or through those uh, main parts of the trunk there okay so let's go back and adjust this curve again and see the difference so now the uh, the adjustment is affecting the sky as it did before but it's having virtually no effect on the tree and that is because the layer mask now is that really high contrast black um, tree against that really nice white sky and so you know when you're creating that layer mask and trying to get that perfect isolation this is the kind of thing you want to be aiming for with those perfect blacks against the perfect white to get that ultimate um, that ultimate separation now sometimes it won't be uh, possible to get a perfect black versus white and sometimes it, it kind of you know you want a little bit of that kind of those grays in there just to blend things in a little bit um, more subtly but in general the higher the contrast your layer mask the uh, the more effective it will be when cutting things out like this and so in this case the color range tool is something that can get you a lot of the way there quickly and then the extra tip on top of that is to then just use either the dodge or the burn tools to um, to enhance that separation and really uh, you know make that foreground or that tree stand out from the background of the sky so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching i'll see you next time